Hello and welcome to my new video. In my last video, I explained the notification which includes what are notification, inbound notification, and outbound notification, application notification form, and inbound action form. In this video, I will explain the update sets that what is an update set, items captured by default, items not captured by default, planning process, and move update sets among instances. So let's start with the, what is an update set. An update set is a group of configuration changes that can be moved from one instance to another. This feature allows administrators to group a series of changes into a named set and then move them as a unit to other systems for testing or deployment. An update set is an XML file that contains a set of record details that uniquely identified the update set, a list of configuration changes, a state that uh, determine whether an other instance can uh, retrieve and apply configuration changes, update sets track changes to application and system platform features. This allows developers to create new functionality on a non-production instance and promote the changes to an other instance. then items captured by default most of the configurations are uh, captured by default in the update set uh, if we configure a form it captures by default in the update set uh, if we are creating any ui policy for any catalog item or for, or for any field then it also captured by default same case for business rule and client script. If we are creating any business rule or any new client script or we are, uh, you can say that uh, uh, customizing the old business rule or uh, uh, client script, then the updates are captured in the update set by default. Also uh, for the uh, UI actions and script includes, these both are also captured in uh, update set by default so there are many other items that are captured by default in the update set the next is items that are not captured by default mostly the CMDB records are not captured in the update set like if we are creating any user or group in the instance uh, it cannot be captured in the update set so we must have to uh, create them in the other instances or to import them from the lower instances uh, in case that we need the users and groups in all instances uh, same for the schedule jobs and uh, system properties these both are also not captured uh, in update sets by default but uh, there are some uh, items which we can uh, captured forcefully in update sets then the planning process for an update set before working with update sets create a standard process for moving customization from instance to an other instance check that both instances are on the same version customizations may not work if they rely on code that uh, has changed between versions determine the changes to make in a single update set complete your update set as you finish small, small to medium sized tasks as update sets get larger it become harder to review them takes longer to identify changes within them increase the risk of conflicts with other update sets and takes more time to preview and commit them this is especially true if the update sets contain schema changes or revisions to large workflows or if the set has uh, to be backed out. Confirm that all base system records have matching sys ID fields. Some base system records are created on the on an instance after provisioning and don't match between different instances leading the problem with the update set. The best way to avoid this issue is to uh, provision production and non-production instance or clone the production instance onto the non-production instance. 
identify a common path for update set to move from instance to instance and maintain that model never migrate the same update set from multiple sources move update sets from dev to test and then from test to production plan for when to commit the update set to production avoid committing an update set to the production instance during business hours this the instance may perform more slowly while the update set applies rest assured this slower performance is temporary make sure update set names are clear create a naming convention to coordinate changes from multiple developers and to reference when committing the, the changes to an other instance understand the following about update set uh, that what records are generated which customizations are tracked which dictionary changes are valid which customization can be backed out after applied before making any customization double check that the correct update set is selected so this is the planning process for an update set then the next is move update set among instance so every organization must have three instances dev uat and prod dev means development uat means users acceptance testing and the last is production production is the live instance when a developer get requirement uh, it start working uh, on the requirement in dev instance when it completes the uh, uh, requirement then it move their update set into the uat in uat the end client test the uh, that uh, uh, their requirement is fulfilling or not if uh, their requirement is fulfilling then after the confirmation of the client the uh, update set is moved into the live instance which is known as production so in this way update sets are moved from lower instance to the higher instance now we can navigate to the uh, uh, update set table on my personal developer instance the backend name of uh, the update set table is sys underscore update underscore set so this is the table of update set in this table we can create a new update set and then we can select the update set from here this list show all the available update set in the in the selected application so in this way we can uh, we created the new update set from uh, every requirement and every customization and then move uh, from the lower instance to the higher instance so that's all uh, about the update set before i wrap up uh, let's quickly review uh, what i have covered in this session i explored that what is an update set items captured by default items not captured by default planning process of an update set and move update set among instances that's all for this session uh, and in my upcoming video i will cover the reporting in service now so that's all for now thank you